Right, today we're going to do chips in the halogen oven, real chips that you peel the potatoes. I've chosen Morris Pie because they're good all-rounders. We've peeled our potatoes and we've chipped them. And I've chipped mine with this crinkle cutter. You can just do it with a knife. The trick is to try and make sure they're all roughly the same size. All right, pop them in your saucepan. What I now do is I boil them on here. You can steam them if you've got a steamer and you prefer just for five minutes. I'm going to bring that to the boil and it's going to boil them for five minutes. I'm going to keep an eye on them. I'm saying five minutes. It may be a bit less because they're Morris Piper. And I do that so that they're soft. And then when they go into the halogen oven, they're actually basically cooked or browning them off. Just like when you parboil roast potatoes. So I'm going to bring those to the boil. I've not added any salt or anything. They've had their five minutes and... Uh, there they are ready now to come out of that water, so they need to be drained off. So while our chips are boiling for a few minutes, all we're going to do is, you can either spray your tray with one cow, or you can just grease it with a little bit of oil. So I'm just going to grease it with a little bit of oil. But it's up to you. Preference is, whoop, the, pre that's cool. the preference is yours. So just grease that ready for the chips. There we go. So that's our boil. Drain them off. Be careful don't leave them too long when they go mushy. I know they were the nice bits that you get in the chips. Drain them off a little bit. Try and get as much water off as you can. Yep, tip them down into there. Spread them across. There we are. We're going to uh, give them 10 minutes. No. Spray them or put a little bit of olive oil if we want to or spray them, it's up to you, just across the top. They're ready now to go into the halogen oven. Now what I've done, I've got the halogen oven, I've got the top rack here. You're going to need your distancer in between, you're going to need your spacer. We're going to get the spacer ready now, pop that on and we're going to give them 10 minutes at 220. Keep an eye on them, because sometimes they cook a bit quicker than you anticipate. And then after 10 minutes, we're going to turn them over so we cook the other side. And there we are then, 10 minutes in. Some are going nice and brown, so we need to turn them over now so we get the other side done. So this is the tricky part, trying to get the potatoes, the chips cooked that you want. So you need to turn them over and separate them. And then when you've done that, might be easier with that, it might be easier with a knife and fork. Try that, yeah, it's probably easier with a knife and fork. So try and get them so that you've got all the white sides facing again. And then put some oil on. So I use this one spray because it's quite nice because it just sprays the chips as opposed to soaking them in too much oil. And you've got plenty of oil underneath, you can still see the oil underneath. So there we are, I'm going to spray them again and then pop them back into the halogen for another 10 minutes. They've had 10 minutes, they're going to have another 10. So there we are. So there we are, there we have it. There are our chips in the halogen oven, they look really nice. So a little bit of salt and it just remains for them to have the taste test. Well, let's get the old salt on. Not very good for you really, but sorry, I love it. So, there we are, taste test next, and let's pick one up and give it a great, absolutely fantastic. There we are, another brilliant video, I think you'll agree, <laughs> chips in the halogen oven, wow. Okay, all our videos, you know where to go, Derek and 33, thanks very much for watching, bye. <laughs>